All right, today we're gonna to be looking at some uh, Vietnam era Green Berets. Just look at a few different uh, flashes, a couple of different uh, variations on berets from that era. And this first one we're gonna look at is your uh, standard 5th Special Forces group. And we see that this one here was, was the standard issue beret. It would have been from 1967. And we see it has the uh, grommets or vent holes. And that's usually a telling sign of a Vietnam era beret. And the second beret we're going to look at is again a 5th Special Forces Group beret. But we notice that the lining has been uh, removed and replaced with kind of like a silk lining. This was uh, something that a lot of guys did in Vietnam. This was actually a uh, gentleman who was a a instructor at the Recondo school in Vietnam and uh, I've, if you check the other videos you'll see made one just about uh, this beret and this one here we see again is a uh, standard issue beret this one I believe is from 1966 and we see it has a, this is a 20th Special Forces Group flash. For some reason, I'm not sure why the uh, flash was cut off. And we see the insignia on it a little bit different from the other Brave showed earlier. This is the earlier version. Uh, it's called by some people the Kissing Skull version. And for some reason, they adjusted it to the later version. See, they made the dagger a little bit thinner. So this is the earlier, I guess you'd call it more desirable, more valuable insignia. And this is more of the standard insignia. So I said uh, 20 of Special Forces Group. That's a Special Forces Group that's consisted of uh, National Guard troops. And this beret here, we see it doesn't have the standard flash. It actually has what's called the candy stripe. And what this is, is if you were uh, stationed with a, or attached to a special forces group up till the early 80s, and you were not special forces qualified, you were allowed to wear the green beret, but you could not wear the flash you would wear the candy stripe. And it would be anywhere from people that just had not completed qualification, or it could be people that were never gonna be special forces qualified, they were just attached to a special forces group. And so this is actually a candy stripe for the first special forces group. And we see again, it's just a standard beret that one's actually from 1968. And you'll see consistently on all these, it's always got the vent holes. This one here is just like the previous one that was had been embroidered. This is the same gentleman who was the uh, instructor at the Recondo School. He was actually killed in action in Vietnam. And this one here, very different. You notice right away the difference on the lining. This is, uh, most of these other berets had been the standard issue beret. This is a private purchase beret. This is a Bancroft beret. Um, I guess you just buy it at PX or something like that. There's two or three different manufacturers other than the official issue beret that seem to be the most uh, prevalent with Bancroft probably being the most prevalent other than the official issue ones. We see this one again, doesn't have a flash on it. This could have been somebody that was attached to a special forces group and was not uh, authorized to wear a flash for the group. I'm not sure why they don't have a candy stripe. Usually that was the way it was supposed to be where you would wear the candy stripe for the group and then you'd have the insignia right above it. 
but some people would see this and say, oh, that's not a, a Vietnam beret, but it is. It's from the same time period as the previous ones had shown, just a different manufacturer. And this one here is a uh, first special forces group. I guess you'd call this one a salty one. You know, it's very, very worn and dirty. Uh, looks like this one was not an official issue beret. You can kind of see a little bit of an outline of something probably where it told the manufacturer, but we see it has the same, uh, same Vietnam era. Uh, grommets, vent holes, and that is actually the, you can see the previous one with the candy stripe. Those are the same first special forces group. This is just somebody who's special forces qualified, non-special forces qualified. And this beret is actually from the same gentleman as that one. But this one we see here, I can tell that this is a Vietnamese made beret just by the this band here. It's real prevalent with these Vietnamese berets where it's a little bit stiffer. And we also see the outline of something maybe you're told where the manufacturer was on there. But one thing that's a little more unusual about this one, it has the 5th Special Forces Group flash. But it also has his rank directly embroidered on there, rank for a, a major. So that's pretty neat. And this next one here, this is a 7th Special Forces group. And we see that the lining has been removed. I know, uh, some soldiers had complained about that the berets were not breathable enough or not comfortable enough. And that they did not fit correctly. So it's fairly common for uh, for soldiers to remove the lining and that's what's happened on this one. And this one actually when I bought it, all these berets that come from uh, estate sales. So they're all pretty much directly from the original owners. And this one came with this uh, certificate where he completed uh, pre-deployment training to Republic of Vietnam as part of uh, 7th Special Forces Group at uh, Fort Bragg, May of 1966. So that's kind of a, a neat thing to have together. And the final one I'm going to show here, you look at that and say, is that a Vietnam era beret? And it's not. And one way, like I'd shown on some of the other ones, we can tell right away there's no there's no grommets there's no vent holes unlike one like this this is actually a a uh, beret from the 1980s we see it's uh this flash is just pinned on there but this is a probably like mid 1980s still would have been worn by a uh, special forces officer or, or enlisted soldier, but it's not a Vietnam era beret. And I hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing some different examples of some Vietnam era berets. Uh, I encourage you to check out the many other videos I've got uploaded and also encourage you to go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I'll be putting up some additional videos and you'll get uh, notice of that. And thanks for watching.